Rescue dog Sting is in danger of washing out of his police canine training. He's so hyper alert that he's bit his handlers before. And that's why Carol can't place him with a police department yet. I am about to see his canine bite work in action with Andre. Bring your arm out. Go. Don't brace for it. Turn. There hey. you go. Yep. Good boy. Good boy. <sighs> You could feel the bite. It feels incredible. Just let it come right off your hand? That guy's got power. Look at that. You see? That was fun. So, Caesar, we're going to try to have you see how he reacts okay. with sudden movement near his neck. Watch his body language. I'm going to switch his collar over. OK. Hey, come here. Mm. See his tail? Ears yeah. went back. That has resulted uh, in a bite. Yeah. It did. And my concern is placing him in a department with a handler that doesn't understand his body language. He'll fail mm -hmm. immediately. Sting has been trained to be alert. He's a police dog. But part of the problem is he doesn't practice relaxation. This dog is always on duty. He's trained, but not balanced. For me, in my opinion, the dog should learn to go into a high level of excitement. He also have to learn to go into a calm level of excitement. Got it. Just to work and then relax. OK. Most households that I go, the dog has no job. So those dogs need a job. This guy has a job. But now he has to calm it down so he can learn something about being approached on the collar. Makes sense. I do agree with Caesar's assessment. I feel that Sting is constantly working actually feels like he is constantly on patrol. I think it would be good for Sting to learn how to relax. It'll be a good thing. So Carol would like to come, you know, in the next few days and, and just focus more on, on practicing what I was telling you, you know, just uh, without the excitement, but it's just for him to be calm while we're building trust in that approach. Okay. I really think Sting is so smart that he can overcome this and he would be an amazing partner for somebody.